I wanted to talk briefly about our psychic senses. For many, um, the psychic senses are coming online a much stronger and faster than ever before. Um, so the way that I read energy, one of the ways, uh, one of the ways that I read energy is through clairvoyance, clairsentience, basically how you can navigate, especially this time, this week, challenging, challenging energy to enlighten us into the full moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the energy of enlightenment, of, it's also the energy of fun and play, uh, but it's of higher learning, higher knowledge. And Jupiter, Jupiter is a big part of this, and Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius. So our minds are becoming more expansive. Our psychic senses are becoming more expansive. Our understanding of life and what where we're being directed and guided. So the way um, I'm going to try to interpret uh, how to help you when you're conflicted in the mind about things. Um, let's see. So we all get blocks of thoughts that run through our minds all the time, regardless what you're doing. Sometimes if you're hyper-focused on one thing, maybe not but through these energies this psychic energy is so strong that you're most likely being interrupted with blocks of thought um it's our choice as to what blocks of thought we're actually going to attach to believe and roll with some kind of story now then we also have outside influences that can enable this as well However, we also get blocks of thought a lot of times that will go in the opposite direction. Um, so we have that yin-yang energy, that push-pull energy, positive, negative. And depending on, it's always a choice. Are you going to choose to go with the positive or the negative? Um, if you're not sure what to trust as far as your intuitive senses or psychic readings on blocks of thought that come into you. The best advice I have is to just not take, don't let it all roll through. Don't take either because then life shows you. We start to get um, signs, outside messages through other people's, like they're not knowing that they're giving us information, but uh, clarification, additional guidance. Life starts to guide you towards more of your, the intuitive hits that are important for you to really focus on and, and listen to because there's so much distraction and distortion along with that. This is why meditation can be helpful for people, but any for any way of just calming the mind and really um, getting back into center with yourself. It does not have to be formal meditation. I don't even practice formal meditation at, very often. I have my own forms. So anyway, I wanted to just kind of uh, help some of you who may be finding yourself churning around in the mind one day the story's this way, another day, the story's that way. You don't have to believe any of the stories. You don't have to attach to any of the stories. You can sit back and let life guide you towards more of the truth of what life is trying to show you. Because our intuitive, our intuition, our intuitive hits are coming from channels of guidance for each and every one of us. We all have a unique journey and it's all about self-discovery and um, it's a beautiful journey, truly is, but it's hard to get to understand from our human perspective all the time. It's the human condition. This is why a lot of spiritual practices are designed to help unlearn everything that we've been taught that we no longer need rolling around in the mind to cause more confusion. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys right now. I'll probably come back on and do a full moon reading for us all because this energy is culminating into some pretty beautiful things, magical experiences. 
and Ju uh, Jupiter, well, Sagittarius is also the energy of uh, travel, travel either through the mind, through the mystical areas, or traveling through different parts of your country or the world. So there's a lot to uh, unfold and unpack with this this full moon coming up on the third or second, depending on where you live in the world. And um, it's going to be a, a really beautiful experience. So sending love to all of you. Much love. Bye.